Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. And today we're going to react to what happened in 8 Mile. This is Primhood Cinema 8 Mile. Now, I did this before and it got blocked immediately. But now that I know the YouTube workaround, matter of fact, hold on real quick. Let me go on ahead and do my YouTube workaround because y'all may not know this, but you got to do certain things to, to the footage. So obviously you see I just flipped it. Now I'm going to I'm going to do this. Now I gotta rotate it. Damn, where the rotation at? Here we go. There we go. That's what I needed, the rotation. So as long as I think as long as you know what I'm saying like it's in a weird position where the YouTube, uh, where the YouTube, I guess the YouTube uh, copyright bot can't see it. It's it's pretty much gonna be hard for it to, uh, I, unless like I get a manual review, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to hit me with soon. But you try to. See if this will work. If this don't work, then I guess it's just not meant for this video to be on my channel. Why won't we rotate? I'm trying to make it rotate again. Trying to make sure I do it right. I know y'all probably like, man, just start the video. I got to make sure that the shit don't get copyrighted so y'all can see the video. If you would please just give me a moment. Because I want to make sure y'all can still see it in its entirety. But I don't want it to be too small. Okay, maybe this... Okay, this 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 will have to do. This will have to do. So it's flipped. It's in an awkward position, and this is the best way I can get this to y'all. So y'all just gotta enjoy it as it is, y'all. Sorry. Hey. Yeah, this is a re-upload for me too, Prim. Cause they demonet no, no, they blocked mine. They didn't demonetize it. I gotta flip it a certain type of way and do it like this, y'all. So, y'all just gotta bear with it like it is. It starts off with Eminem in this dirty ass public bathroom practicing his rhymes. He's about to be in a freestyle battle and he's super nervous about it. His mom's, mom's spaghetti. Is sweaty or whatever. <laughs> mom's Arms spaghetti. spaghetti. He ends up hurling in the toilet and he's having this whole deep self reflecting moment. Meanwhile, there's somebody banging on the damn door trying to dookie the whole time. Why are you hogging the whole bathroom, Eminem? Facts. It's not a one person bathroom. Who do you think you are? Where the hell you think you're going? Eminem's best friend comes over and saves him from that evil racist bouncer. His name is Future Vandross and he's played by <laughs> star Mackay Pfeiffer. They got him wearing this awful looking boneless dreadlock wig Facts. for some reason. Hey, it looks hey, like real talk, hey real talk. This fucking dread wig, whatever the fuck you want to, this shit was fucking terrible, bro. Ain't no fucking way. Hey, Bro. Shit, it looks terrible. like it's about to fall off his damn head. Shit like a Halloween decoration. He follows him and them upstairs where they meet the rest of their group. This bunch of weird ass niggas right here. Is this supposed to be D12 or something? Remember D12? Hell no. 
Eminem then goes behind the dumpster <laughs> and grabs his trash bag full of clothes. That's pretty sad. He white in the hood. He keep his clothes in the trash or whatever. But at least he's got a team of supportive and helpful friends by his side. I'm gonna need a place to crash. Are you gonna stay at your mom's? <laughs> <laughs> the movie takes place in Detroit in the 90s. It's supposed to be like Eminem's Rise to Fame movie, kind of like his Get Rich or Die Trying, where it's like a fake biography type of deal. Speaking mm. of Get Rich or Die Trying, here's everybody's favorite character, Fat Nigga. <laughs> they got him in all the movies. I don't know his name. Something's gonna happen with this shit. It needs to happen now. How you feeling? Feel good. You feel good. Yeah. Anthony Mackie is in the movie. He's the main bad guy, and he's the leader of this. This guy's a gangster, it's real dude. It was clear. Or something the clear's parents the had a real good He's super marriage. good at rapping or something. He's the champion of all the freestyle battles. They all be freestyle battling in this crusty ass, old ass club called the Shelter. Who told you you can fuck with the mighty pop or doc? For stepping on the stage, I should rock your not. Don't get too close, or you might get shot. Cause I'm a grown man, and son. Stop running. Go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, Wow, he's supposed to be the champion, right? Facts, this that was shit pretty was wild. Especially since Ain't this no is fucking the only way. time we actually hear this Ain't nigga no rap in way. the whole entire movie. Seriously, he's the main Ain't bad no guy way. in the rapping movie, and he rapped one time, though. Next up, oh, my man Bunny Rabbit yeah. and Lil Tip. R.P. the proof. R.P. the proof. Whoa. <laughs> R.P. the proof. Details finest. He's choking. Choke, 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 choke. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, time didn't help out, huh? At least you didn't throw up on the damn stage, though. That's good. Also, your name is Bunny Rabbit. Of course, niggas are booing oh you. That's a stupid God. ass name, bro. It's Eminem's turn to rap, but he's choking now. Everybody's joking now. Oh, man. Punch went out. Time oh, over blow. They snap back to reality and Eminem is going to stay with his mom at her trailer. His mom lives in the white hood with his little sister and they got a sad hood life. His mom's always cooking spaghetti and shit all the time. Eminem walks in and sees his mom and her new boyfriend smashing on the couch. Man, so what? What? They was in there getting it, boy. They was in there getting it, boy. Oh, yeah. They was in there getting it, boy. They was in that motherfucker going crazy. You already know. Had them titties out, man. Everything. Hell yeah. It'll be a freaky in that motherfucker. Oh, that's always fun. He has a little talk with her and she agrees to let him stay there and she even gives him this old ass, stinky ass car that don't work. It's your birthday present. The motherfucker don't even Honey, work. what up, yeah? Thought you might be back home. <laughs> hey, why are you still going to the shelter, man? Ain't nobody down there but a bunch of clowns who ain't got deals and never gonna get deals. You need to stay at home. You know Wings got you. It's the next day, and we meet another one of Eminem's fucking lame-ass homeboys. This one name is Wink. He's like a music promoter. He's one of those guys that be bullshitting all the time. Like he hey, if this don't work, y'all might have to see the rotating screen. Because that's the only way I can get around this copyright shit, bro. I'm telling you, it's hard to get around this shit, bro. Because they, f I don't know. I got it. So hopefully this shit work, bro. So hopefully we ain't got to do this. Because if I got to do the rotation thing, it's going to be sad. He know famous people and shit. You know that guy. I'm the one that tipped him on Big O and got that fat man out of flipping burgers at Biggie D's. I'm building an empire, Jimmy. And I'm taking you with me, man. You're next. Eminem goes to work now. He works at some oh, factory it. making fucking bumper cars or something. I don't know, man. It's like a car shit. He... He work at a car shit. Yeah, this it's Detroit, Prim. That's what they known for, making cars. It's Detroit. 
How do you, how do you, that's where all the cars were made. That's where all the American cars were made. How the fuck you don't know this, Prim? Oh, Baltimore ass nigga. Tries to <laughs> boss for some more hours, and his boss tells him to shut the fuck up. Basically, she's your queen. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm looking for John Letourneau. I can take you. I don't think so, Smith. Fuck y'all too, lame ass. Hanging out with future Vandross now after work, and they fixing up his car and talking about all their hood problems. Eminem got a bunch of sad hood problems. His mom is dating some dude that him and Future Vandross went to high school with. He's like the same age as them. That's fucking whack, right? Yep. Eminem don't like that. God he just broke damn. up with his girlfriend too, also. That's a problem, I guess. He got problems, man. What else? He broke, uh, but he got butt chin. Dumpster clothes, he wearing dumpster clothes all day. He all fucked up, bro. They sing a song about it, actually. You live at home in a trailer. He's tapping my mom who almost the same age. Eminem passes <laughs> up the car and they head out for a night of fun in the hood. I guess this nigga good at fixing cars. I don't know where that came from. That don't sound real. I don't think this nigga really good with cars like that. He do work at a car shit though. And he grew up in Detroit. I don't know this man life. Who think Eminem good at fixing cars in real life? Comment below. Man, we just gotta we don't know. Shit, he probably is. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bring that damn thing, man. Good, <laughs> 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 you know, man real <laughs> they doing a paintball thing, and Eminem takes the shit too far, of course. Crazy white boy shit. It's Eminem though. It's funny and it's cute when he does it. Luckily, they all get away and they head on down to some parking lot party. I'm guessing this is outside the shelter. There's a bunch of niggas rapping and shit and Bunny Rabbit finally gets to show off his skills to everybody. Your style is generic. Mine's authentic made. I roll like a renegade. You need clinic aid. You want a battle? You beat around the bush like you're scared to lick pussy, so you eat around the tush. I'm the dashiki, smoking the lick licky. Ten freaky girls inside the gin jiggy. The main bad guys show up now. Their name is the Free World. They a rap gang. I said that already. They come in and they ruin the whole vibe when everybody was having fun and shit. They challenge Snow Bunny Rabbit and all his friends and anyone else who dares to rap and have fun in their presence. You cast this pussy soft like wet flowers. Leaders of the free world here to smash on you cowards. Mm. Hold on. Yo Elvis, caught your choke act at the shelter last night. <laughs> Fucking playing with me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to Papa Doc, you mean Clem? He went to Clem, Christine's brother. Eminem does a bunch of hood rat stuff with his friends, and they all bond. This guy's a gangster, his real name is Clem. The whole gang is here Future Vandross, Glasses Yo, and their special needs homie Cheddar Bob is here too. Cheddar Bob. That's a great time. It's the next day and Eminem's mom tells him that they about to get evicted. We're being evicted. God damn it. Mom, you got to stop living your life like this. If you really cared about Lily, you would get a job. Quit fucking around. What are you doing with your life that's so great, rabbit? At least I got a job. Shit, the fuck you mean? Nigga, fuck you! The fuck you mean, fuck too? Nigga, fuck you! Got me fucked up, nigga. Watch your mouth. <laughs> oh lord, I hate this scene. I hate this scene. This is this is one. This scene just. Uh, I just don't like this scene because I don't like. Kids don't play with guns. That's all I'm gonna say. Kids don't play with guns. All right, Eminem, cut it out, bro. I let you have the car shit, but I definitely don't think you would really do this shit in real life, especially with no back. Uh, sir, you must have not heard them stories about Eminem, bro. Eminem got some fucking wild ass stories, bro. I don't think you heard, bro. Hey, Prim, you need to do your research on Eminem, bro. He got some wild ass stories, bro. Nigga beat a nigga up outside the club. The Suge Knight incident. Bro, he got some... Bro, Eminem got some wild ass stories, bro. That many people don't talk about, bro. Surprisingly, they keep that shit under wraps. 
But but they are out there though. If you want to see him though, he has been arrested for some shit like this, bro. He he, hey, Eminem is a wild ass white boy for real. Eminem is a wild ass white boy, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I just if there was one person I wouldn't test, I wouldn't test Eminem. That's a wild ass white boy. I ain't saying I'm pussy or I'm afraid or nothing like that. I'm just saying if a nigga on the wild side, I'm gonna back up because I'm not wild. I'm tame. I'm I, I I have I have a brain. I know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Common sense. But this nigga Eminem, this nigga got some crazy ass wild ass. So go look him up. They on the internet. They on YouTube. Look him up. Eminem got some wild ass stories, bro. For real. Backup, basically. Who is your backup? This fucking team of weirdos you ride around with. Glasses, yo. This nigga get folded in half, bro. Fact. Yeah, future Vandross and the fat nigga. Yeah, they probably capable. That's not enough, though. You don't Eminem know about Eminem, friend. You I'm don't sorry. know about Eminem. You wanna fuck with us, huh? Fuck with us, yeah? Man, put that shit away, dog. Before you fucking kill somebody. Okay, all right. Fuck. <laughs> Uni clinic game. They take Cheddar Bob to the hospital. He's fine though. Nobody give a fuck really. They all in the car now and future Vandross and Link start arguing about who got more juice than who. Oh, like that time you were real tight with that intern in Russell Simmons' office. <laughs> is it because I'm making moves? Or is it because your ass is stuck hosting bounds for like two years? Make it move your ass! Shut no damage! Me and Greg are having problems. It's our sex life. That's what you worried about right now? Bitch, you are getting evicted in 30 days. Why are you chilling right now? That's why he be writing all those diss tracks about you, lady. This nigga in real life be writing diss tracks about his mom. That's hilarious. Dude. Eminem is at work and he's on but his you lunch don't think break. He capable A bunch of, doing of people some shit start like freestyling and Exhibit comes over and starts bullying everybody. Honestly, I was about to complain about there being too many random freestyle sessions, but that should be happening though. That's actually very believable. Yeah. Oh, this fat ass nigga. <laughs> Sloppy sucker. Fat you an ugly motherfucker. Take a look at for all the fruitcake. <laughs> Would you you probably pop bandies in your suitcase. And that's what the gay jokes, that's what the gay broke bitch yourself. Hey, low. Yo, yo. Scott cashed his whole check and bought one ho ho. On this mic, you get faded. You look like a pissed off rapper who never made it. Be soft. Emotional damage. Damn, Exhibit. This nigga slaughtered you, bro. That's embarrassing. You should swing on this nigga, bro. The Duh. fucking girl pops up again, of course. See, here's Eminem's dope rhymes, and it makes her super horny, and they smash in, like, the back of a machine or something. It looked pretty dangerous, bro. Not as dangerous as smashing this random bitch raw in the first place, but I digress. Also, this sex scene is too long, bro. I hate sex scenes. They do some more hanging out in the hood. <laughs> they go to see Cheddar Bob and him and Eminem have a heart to heart. Nobody give a fuck really. Eminem goes back to the trailer later that night and the fucking girl is here eating spaghetti and shit. Like bro, Eminem gets Damn, mad son. and yeah, I would be mad too at this point. I don't like shit like that. Don't Facts. keep popping up on niggas unannounced. That's not sexy. Facts. <laughs> Man, shit, look, I invited her to my show. She said we had to come and get you. What's I supposed to do? It's almost the third act now, so everything start going wrong. The mom's boyfriend starts tripping, and they have a big fight. Eminem and Future Vandross get in a fight, too. Eminem didn't want to do the next battle, but Future Vandross signed him up anyway. That's their fight. That's their thing. Also, Wink is trying to smash the girl or whatever now. She's trying to be a model, and he says he'll help her because he know famous people. Shit's all fucked up. And now we got to fix it in the third act. That's it. It's the third act now. Everybody's sad now. I'm looking for Wink Harris. Hey, she was in the wrong. I don't get how people keep saying uh, Wink was in the wrong. She was in the wrong. She was what using both of them. about Eminem? That's not your girl. What are you doing? You look crazy, bro. You met her like a week ago and you smashed her once on some casual shit. You don't get to fight over her, bro. That's so lame. Have a good night. Bro, 
She came over to my house. Yep. She let me smash at work. Yep. Everywhere I go, she just seems to be there. Yep. Nigga, I got a right to beat that nigga ass. I got a right to beat that nigga ass, man. But then again, I don't know why they fighting each other. Realistically, it's her. She out here being a hoe. She using Wink to get ahead to go to be a model in New York. She fucking rabbit just because she like him. Nah, bruh. She a hoe, bruh. I stand on that shit. I stand on that shit. Real talk. Oh, this is a sad ass scene right here. Wink said you lived in a trailer with your mom. <laughs> but we ain't believe him. Damn. The next day, Eminem is at work and he's talking to his friend, Paul the Fruitcake. The girl comes up. <laughs> I guess she picked him when she saw that Wink can't fight. But no, she's going to New York forever now and she gives him a pep talk before she leaves. I was hoping to see you at the shelter tonight. But if you're afraid, you know. I'm afraid of them guys. Eminem asks Paul to cover for him and he says yes because he's thankful that Eminem stood up for him. Then he runs off to the shelter for the best part of the movie and the only reason people watch the movie. Seriously, this final battle scene will always be fun to watch every yeah, it's time. Iconic, I I it's iconic, bro. It's iconic. And speaking I of can't. which... Here's some highlights. Watch the damn clip. Fucking Nazi, your squad ain't your type, take some real advice. It's from a group with Vanilla Ice. This whole crowd looks suspicious. It's all dudes in here, except for these bitches. So I'm a German, eh? That's a crazy, you look like a fucking worm with braids. Yeah, this dude right here, RIP to him. They said they recently just say he passed away too. I never, I didn't know he passed away. They said he passed away. RIP to him though. RIP to him though. RIP to him. Cause he had the best one of all of them, really. If we be honest, he really would. A low key, he should have beat Eminem. If we, if that was real life, he would have won. Cause that leave it to Beaver line was clever, bro. Then I gotta murder that dude from Leave It to Beaver. <coughs> Nick, you were a little hard on the Beaver. So was Eddie Haskell, Wally, and Miss Cleaver. It was a good comeback, but it it don't hit the same, bro. It just don't hit the same. It don't hit. It just don't hit like when he, cause when he pulled that leave it to Beaver line out, it came out of left field. It came out of nowhere. It was clever, but he did have a clever comeback. But still, he, I feel like he should have won the battle just off that alone, cause, 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 cause Eminem wasn't really saying anything. Let's just be real. Eminem wasn't really saying nothing. He 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 he. It, at the end of at the end of it, he whispered in their ears. He whispered to his crew and said, "That leave it to Beaver line almost killed me," because he knew he could have no comeback for that. He luckily he he lucky that the that this is a movie because if this was real life, Homeboy would have won because he didn't really have no clever comeback. He said, "How many blue blah? I hear what you say. Hit the blue blah." Is that a tank top or a new bra? Look, Snoop Dogg just got a fucking boob job. Like, okay, that's cool. But that Leave it to Beaver line still going to hit, though. That That's going to be more hit, memorable than the tank top. Than the Snoop Dogg line. The Snoop Dogg line, that's, that's that, that was funny. But at the same time, it's still, it's still not hitting like that Leave it to Beaver, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, if I may, niggas would not be going crazy over that Leave It to Beaver bar. You dropping names of characters and shit? Like niggas yeah, really yeah. It was a clever comeback, like but it ain't. I hear what did you say? Hit the hoop bra. Is that a tank top or a new bra? Look, Snoop Dogg has got a fucking boob job. Yeah. It's time for the final round. Eminem made it to the final round. It's him versus Anthony Mackie, and all the tensions are super high. The girl is watching. All his friends are watching. The niggas who beat his ass just now are watching. <laughs> Let that bitch go fast. Ooh. Everybody, 
None. I don't get this one. Yeah, I, is he I calling never him got Tupac? This. No, because no Pac none. Though. What is that? You're not Tupac then. That's what that means. Yeah, whatever. I, 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 well, yeah, I, I never got that Are you one. They look like Tupac. I, I never it? got that one either. I know everything he's got to say against me. I am white. I am a fucking bum. I do live in a trailer with my mom. And we did fuck my girl. I'm still standing here screaming, "Fuck the free world." Again, that's not your girl, man. She belonged to the mall, bro. How easy was it for you to smash her, bro? You think she not out here fucking? I get that. That is true, though. Own boy, but if she's offering, I mean, give him a break. Eminem starts roasting himself now, which is a bold move. That could have easily backfired, but everybody liked it. What's the matter, dog? You embarrassed? This guy's a gangster? His He's real not- name is Clarence. And this is when he changed his life and became uh, the sidekick to Captain America. <laughs> Eminem defeats Papa Clarence and he's the new champion now. They just gonna jump you again though, bro. Facts. Expose this nigga talking about private school and shit. He gotta fade you now, even worse than before. But everybody happy for now at the moment. His mom won at some bingo games, so they not getting evicted. That happened earlier after he got beat up. It was pretty convenient. Future Vandross comes out to congratulate Eminem and he says he should co-host the battles at the shelter with him. Eminem declines and he goes back to work, walking down this dark ass alley for some reason. Perfect time for the free world niggas to run up on you. That beef is not over, bro. I promise you. It this is definitely a hood. Real classic. life, they would have came out the alley and jumped us. Worst they would have. No, it's Detroit. Worst they would have shot that nigga. new per se. But the performances and the soundtrack and shit is more than enough on its own. I enjoyed his group of friends. Future Vandross, all them. I kind of wish they gave the glasses nigga and the fat nigga some more stuff to do. Yeah. They literally don't do shit. They just all kind of comic relief. But I like them. They funny. Brittany Murphy's always great too. She didn't really do shit in the movie either. She was kind of just a random thought. But she adds a lot of charm and charisma to the role. R.I.P. Brittany Murphy, by the way. R.I.P. She's in a lot of stuff. She was Luann on King of the Hill and shit. That's where I know her from. Eminem's acting actually is impressive, man. There were a few times where it was a little shaky, but it's definitely way better than it should have been, realistically. I'm kind of blown away. He should definitely do more movie roles. He can't rap forever, bro. I don't think he gives a fuck either way. But I would love to see some more Eminem Eminem movies. movies. A lot of people would. Make a sequel to this. Call it Nine Mile. Nine mile. All right, I'm clearly out of Nigga, do you know that nine mile or eight mile is two different? I got the dead presidents for you right, coming up right, soon. All right, I want to do a right, DMX Prim. movie you first, though. The D, you gotta bro. do a DMX movie. It's only you right. Rest in Detroit peace, King Detroit DMX. Like that, bro. You we'll can't do, do that, to the grave or something for the man. Watch him do karate. I don't know. I'm gonna figure we it out. We already Also, all these, trapped in the closet is coming. We already watched that for him. God damn it. We too close now. Yeah, we at the end of this. But yeah, man, that's just going to do it for this one, man. Hopefully this re-upload, this redo I did. Like I said, if you see the rotating, if the if the screen starts rotating, that's how you know that this shit got blocked again after I just did it like this. But it shouldn't because I did the Bernie Mac. I did the Bernie Mac. Um... Like this yesterday, no copyrights, none. Um, so hopefully I can get that same leeway with with it like this, but I don't know because it was a little different last time, and I'm hoping that I can do it like this and make it like this for. Um, Hopefully we can make it like this for this, cause hopefully the uh, we just gotta hope that the uh, hope and pray that the copyright protection, the copyright system, YouTube's copyright system don't detect this right away, cause if they detect this right away, then yeah, we gonna have to cut this one off. But like I said, if I gotta start rotating it in a circle, um, if it's gotta rotate in a circle, then y'all just gonna have to deal with it like that. Because, like I said, I can't, I can't do nothing else at this point. My hands are tied. I can't do nothing else at this point. But yeah, man, it's just gonna about do it for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, peace out.